What's up guys, it's the Couch Potato here, and welcome to the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. On today's episode, we are going to get a lot done. I mean, I had to write a list just to make sure that I could remind myself of what we're going to do. So, uh, I did a little bit of off work, off camera work, um, after last episode, and I'll show you what I did. So, uh, let's see. Let me, can I get inside my house, please? Okay, there we go. Uh, so inside my inventory... I actually got into some cementing paste, and I'll show you what I did with the uh, with the cementing paste. So here's what I did. Uh, here's some cementing paste, crystal, and hide. I can make two water jars. That's right. We're getting into water jars now. So no more of these little crappy water skins that leak water and are just really stupid. I hate the water skin so much. I hate it so much. All right. So we'll go ahead and put the water jar on our uh, cross uh, crossbar on our uh, hot bar. And then we'll go ahead and put the extra one in there, just in case we die. Um, and then I did a little more off-camera work, because today, not only did we get crossbows and chitin armor and everything like that, I figured in this episode we could probably go out and tame something. Um, maybe a Carno, a Raptor. Hell, I was even thinking a Terror Bird would be awesome. But I was also thinking maybe doing an RG. So if we can get like a higher level RG, maybe level 80 and up, then we could start ferrying metal from the mountain back and forth to our base and start making long neck rifles and trank darts and everything like that. So I made a bunch of narcotics. I have 120 trank arrows and 100, yeah, 100 uh, regular arrows. I also uh, made a torch uh, in my, uh, it's on my uh, hotbar. And I also made uh, enough metal to make the sickle finally. So now I don't have to gather berries in every single bush to try and get fiber. So we can go ahead and put that on our hot bar as well. So needless to say, I did a little bit of off-camera work just so that we could get a little bit further. Um, that way we could get a lot more taming done this episode because the last four episodes have kind of been like getting started. They've kind of been the the beginnings is of the season. So in this in this episode, we're really gonna focus on taming and see how much we can do. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the stuff together, and uh, when I have it all together, I'll come back and we'll get started. Alrighty, you guys. So we're back, and uh, I'm up here on top of the cliff above the house. Uh, down there is the house. And uh, I did something at the end of uh, the episode yesterday. I said that uh, we were going to pay respects to the uh, dead Pteranodon that uh, died yesterday. And so this is what we did. We put down a... Uh, a gravestone is what it's called i couldn't think of the word so we put down a gravestone yeah i know it's it's really sad that <laughs> we're only five step episode four 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 up four or five episodes in and we're already burying dinos i know it's sad but you know it's gonna happen because that's arc you know but we, we won't forget her uh unnamed pteranodon uh but she's always got a light going and uh, uh unless it'll burn out but no she's got a light going all the time so uh, she'll be up here on top of the cliff overlooking the ocean. So, um, but I figured what we could do is, uh, I have a, uh, I don't know why I have this stuff in my inventory, but, uh, I've got all sorts of narcotic and cooked meat and trank arrows and all sorts of stuff in my inventory. So I figured what we could do is, uh, I want to go tame something. So I was thinking either a raptor or a terror bird or a saber tooth or an RG. I'm leaning more towards an RG, so I think that's what we're going to go do. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to fly around the mountain for a little bit and see if I can't find a level 80. Wait, there's a Carno right there. Hang on. This might this might change my, this might change my mind. Uh, nope, never mind. Only level 12. So I think what I'm going to do is I see some of these RGs flying around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout out the area. And uh, regen some stamina right now, and hopefully I don't get. Oh no, not on the on the rock, not on the ground, on the rock, on the. Thank you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna regen some stamina, and uh, I'm gonna fly around for a little bit, see if I can't find a decently leveled RG, and then when I uh, find one, I'll bring you guys back in. All right, you guys. So I'm back, and uh, as you can tell, there's a big mess of stuff over there. But look what I found. There's a 104 RG right there. It's that green one. And it's a female. But the crappy part is, is look at all the crap that's just flying around right there. There's three RGs right there. 
It's a really bad area to try. Was that a 116 as well? Or was that a 16? No, it was just a 16. Okay. So the bad part is, is it's a really rough part of town. So I think what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and grab its aggro and try and drag it somewhere. Oh, wait. Ah, I didn't want to drag the other ones. All right. I have the green one on me, so that's good. I'm going to try and drag them somewhere. Oh, I have three of them following me. That is very bad. So I'm going to try and drag them somewhere up here. And I don't think... Oh, crap. The wrong one peeled off. Well, actually, that could be I could use that to my advantage. Um, all right. So here's... I'm going to try and take these ones out. I got to be really careful, though, because Thin Wing really has, like, no health. In fact, this is like a death trap for Thin Wing. Uh, so... If I remember correctly, the Xbox servers, uh, or at least the Xbox One, they uh, the crossbows, they still do, like, I think it's double damage to RGs and uh, uh, all, like, flying creatures. So if I can, like, drag these guys to the top of the volcano... Ah, uh, crap. I I don't know. I might, I might lose Thin Wing. This is going to be really hard. Um, I was thinking I could try and crossbow them because I want to take these two out and then try and drag the other one up here. Try and trank him that way. That way, there's nothing that's trying to kill him. There's nothing that's trying to eat him because I've tamed too many freaking RGs and gotten so close. Okay, they're turning around. Darn it. I've gotten so close to taming them only to have something come by and eat them at the last second. And it's not a fun experience. So, let's see if we can't get at least one of these guys. Nope. Oh, yeah. Thin Wing has, like, zero melee damage and zero, like, stamina and health. And so, we're going to have to fly away and see if we can't tame him on the ground. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to do what I want to do. Uh, and truthfully, I think we might lose Thin Wing. Which is really going to suck. Uh, because I'm going to be stuck out here without a flyer. Uh, and that's really going to make me angry. Let me see if I can't. Let me see if I can can't take this guy out. All right, don't touch Thin Wing. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. All right, I killed one RG. That's good. That's really, really good. That's really, really, really good. All right, let me grab his prime meat off of him. Hopefully, no one. Act oh God. Okay, that's the 104. If I remember, if I remember, yeah, that's the 104. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this guy down. I really hope he doesn't aggro uh, Thin Wing. And the hard... Oh, shoot. The really hard part about taming on a mountainside like this is if I go tumbling down the mountain, I'm going to lose a lot of health. So I got to really be careful. And the other hard part about taming an RG with a crossbow and not Trank, trank Darts is uh, because they take double damage from a crossbow, doesn't matter if you're using Trank Arrows or regular Arrows. It's still probably going to do double damage, so I really got to be careful and watch his uh, his damage overlay. Cause see, he's already yeah. Oh man, this is bad. He's already bloody. Yeah. Okay. So he's he's running away. So that's that's good. That's a good sign. I'm gonna let him uh, run away. Why did that pop up? I'm gonna let him run away. Let me level up. I'm gonna pump stamina. Okay. I'm gonna let him run away. He should come back. Yeah, okay, here he comes. Good. Alright, I just can't get him aggroed on uh, Thin Wing. Okay, here we go. No, 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 Get off of him, get off of him. Stop hitting the little guy. Come on. He's like one-third your size. Come on. Alright, stay on me. Come on. Oh, yes, 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 guys. We got him. We got him. We got him. All right. Okay. Okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Okay. Prime meat. Okay. Prime meat's on him. And let's see how... What's the timer on him? Okay. We got 20 minutes... 20 minutes on uh, each of those prime meats. Oh, guys. We might get this guy. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Uh, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to let it tame. And uh, I'm going to keep watch. Uh, to make sure that nothing else comes around. And uh, when it's up, I'll bring you guys back in. Alrighty, guys. Any second now. I think she is getting ready to tame up. I think uh, she eat yeah, she eats every 50. 
And so I'm really hoping that this is, uh, this is the feed. Uh, I've been up here probably for about 35, 40 minutes. Um, not too bad. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy we got this. 153. 153. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy we got her. Let's check out her stats. So she's got almost 2,000 health. She's got... Tw Holy crap. She's got 2,400 stamina out the boot. Out the shop. Holy crap. That's insanity. She's got 532 weight. That's pretty good. 321 melee damage and 100% movement speed. That's pretty darn good. I will take that. So, unfortunately, I don't have the materials to make the saddle just yet. Uh, and I don't even have it back at the house. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have her follow us. Uh, hopefully, she can follow Thinwing pretty well. Uh, it was kind of chilly up here, so I had to have my torch out for, like, the whole time. Alright, so, we're gonna go ahead and fly back. Hopefully we don't have any too many, too, blah, blah. Hopefully we don't have too many altercations with anything. Uh, and we're going, oh god, she's so slow. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. So anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead and fly back. And then we're going to, uh, go hunt some scorpions or trikes or something to try and get the chitin or keratin to make the saddle. And uh, that way we can take her out and maybe grab some levels on her. But the reason why I wanted to tame an RG first and not like a raptor or a saber tooth is because once you get an RG, once once you get an RG, you can build a taming pen. Mm, excuse me, and you can build uh, build a taming pen and just drop RGs and terror birds and saber tooths and dire wolves into the taming pen and just tame them that way. And it takes kind of the danger out of taming them, which I mean, some people are kind of against taming pens because it takes the danger out of it. But in my eyes, the more dinos that you can get that you can utilize to your advantage, the better. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and fly her all the way back. It's probably going to take like another 10 minutes. Uh, and after we get back, I'm going to make up the saddle and we're going to go out and see if we can't get uh, some some raptors or some dire, uh, some, uh, saber tooths and, uh, we'll see where the episode takes us. So I'll be right back guys. Guys. So look what I found while I was flying home. One, there's a red drop that spawns right here, but apparently you have to be level 60 to get those. So I can't get it just yet, but look what I found. There's like this little lake back here and, uh, beavers spawn here. Check this out. There's a beaver right here. Let me turn my gamma up cause it is getting dark. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, beavers spawn back here. So, I didn't know that beavers spawned, like, up here. So, let's see what level this guy is. Oh, she's only level 4. Darn it. I was really hoping she'd be, like, a level 100. That'd be great. But, I'm really tempted to get this beaver dam, but I know what happens when you touch beaver dams, and I'm kind of afraid, because I don't want to get swarmed by beavers. So, we'll come back and get it. Uh, what level is this Carno? 28. And, not, not worth it. So... Uh, let me go ahead and uh, do what I said I was going to do before I cut back in and uh, get the saddle made up for her and uh, we'll go back out and some explore a little bit more. Alrighty guys, so we're back and uh, I got her all saddled up and I even gave her a awesome name. So I figured we'd go ahead and break the, uh, the Lord of the Rings theme here and kind of go with another movie theme. Uh, so for all you Harry Potter fans out there, uh, we named her Buckbeak. And, uh, I don't know if Buckbeak was a guy or a girl, so, uh, we're just gonna call this one Buckbeak, um, male-female-ish thing. But, uh, I had, uh, or I saw something when I was out, uh, hunting down Chitin and Keratin, and, uh, I wanna tame it. And it's not a wimpy little raptor, it's not a wimpy little saber tooth, nope, it's not a terror bird, it's none of those things. In fact, it's, uh, it's big. It's, uh, it's real big. Um, it's not the highest level. And I just realized, wow, this thing is really slow. We're going to have to pump some movement speed, like, real quick. Um, it's not the, it's not the highest level, mind you, okay? And it's not in the best area. So, chances are we're going to have to build something around it to, like, get it safe. But if we can get this in the fifth episode of this series, we're going to be sitting pretty. Because... Our meat issue will be over, our protection will be, like, tenfold, and 
we'll be able to get hide, we'll be able to get meat all over the place, we'll be able to spoil meat really quickly, we'll just be able to do a whole lot more stuff, let me turn my gamma down, I'm sorry, it's really bright, we'll just be able to do a whole lot more stuff if we can tame this thing. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking about what it could be, and I'm sure a lot of you have already figured out what it is. Uh, it could either be a Giga, a T-Rex, or a Spino. Any one of those is what it could be. Um, but I'll go ahead and tell you, it's a Spino. Uh, he was out in the water out here. I hope he didn't run too far away. Um, so we're going to go see if we can't find him. Uh, I do need to be very, very careful, though, because the, uh, the area is stocked by a T-Rex. Not a high-level T-Rex. It's only level 16, and he's in those trees, I think. Uh... Yeah, he is. Oh, and would you look at that? I was looking right at the Spino. So, the Spino is right here. He's... Oh, he just ran into the trees. He's a super cool color, too. Um, crap. Let me... I'm trying to see if I can't get a better view of him. Let me see. Uh, he's fighting some Brontos, which is kind of a bad thing, because there are... I'm going to have to turn my gamma back up. There are, quite a, there are quite a few Brontos in the forest right here, as you can see right now. So... Yeah, there's the T-Rex. He's just chilling. Oh, okay, I just got whipped. Uh, so the T-Rex is fighting. Oh my god, the Brontos killed the T-Rex. Okay, well that solves my problem. Uh, so now we just need to find where the Spino went. And uh, we can start to tame him. Uh, but the thing about Spinos, and I'm sure a lot of you that play this game have run into this problem, is they're sporadic. And they don't know where they want to go. So you can be shooting at them, and uh, they'll be chasing after you, and the next thing you know, they're 500 feet behind you running the complete opposite way. So we need to find somewhere where we can get them, I guess, stuck or trapped or something like that to where we can constantly shoot them with trank arrows. And I think he went somewhere in here. I don't know why he's so far away from the water. Um, so let's see if we can't find him. Uh, let's see... Uh, this isn't, like I said, this is not a very safe area to do this, uh, to try and tame a big dinosaur like this, especially because there's bugs, there's raptors, there's dillos, all sorts of stuff like that. So, um, let me find the Spino and, uh, let me see if I can't get him like in a position where I can tame him and, uh, I'll go ahead and come back in. All right, you guys. So I got some bad news. Uh, I just reviewed some of the uh, the footage from that last, uh, from when I was flying around uh, looking at the T-Rex and the Spino, and uh, apparently the Spino got involved in that fight between all those Brontos. Yeah, it died. Uh, so, both the T-Rex and the Spino are dead. And so, I flew around for a good 25 minutes looking for another Spino and a T-Rex, and nothing, nothing looked good. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and call the episode there. Uh, but we got a lot done today, uh, not to mention we got a freaking RG, uh, and not just any RG, like, we got a high-level RG, like, he is our second high-level animal, uh, so behind, he's higher level than Sauron, so we are sitting pretty with, um, the ability to ferry metal back and forth now, and I, I managed to get some levels on her, so she's, uh, she's got 348 melee damage and 110% movement speed now, so... She's doing pretty well in the, in the movement speed department and in the melee, uh, melee damage department. So um, we'll continue to level level her up throughout the uh, the series. But unfortunately, Thin Wing eh, probably won't get too much usage anymore. Because uh, now that we've got an RG, a high level RG, uh, we don't need you anymore. But we'll keep you around uh, because you were one of our first dinos. So other than that, we got water bottles. Uh, we got a sickle finally so we can get fiber. Uh, and we got plenty of narcotics, so when we do go to tame a Spino or a T-Rex or any other dino, we'll be, we'll, we will be ready. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the content today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>